In this video, I'm going to show you how to color correct like a professional. I'm going to turn this footage into this, and I'm going to show you everything you need to know to start color correcting your footage inside of Premiere Pro. My name is Vegard. I do weekly Premiere Pro and filmmaking tutorials, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. The footage that I have on the timeline right now is straight out of my drone. It's shot in a really flat color profile and what that means is when we are going to color correct this footage we are going to have more information to work with and it's going to be easier and it's going to be looking better color correction is different from color grading and i'm going to explain everything how you can use the sliders inside of the lumetri panel i'm also going to show you the scopes over here on how you can read them and understand them and some more tips on how you can make your footage look better so the first thing we're going to do is that we have this drone footage right here and i have opened up the color space inside of premiere pro on this side we have something called the lumetri color panel and we are going to work with basic correction and we are going to work with curves in this tutorial so to start off by color correcting this footage, we need to look at the scopes. And on this RGB parade scope here, that's what it's called. We have our reds, greens, and blues. So that is the RGB parade. Now we see that the, the values are different. We see that we have less red and less green, and we have a lot of blue in this footage we first need to work a little bit with the uh, temperature. So I'm going to just, you can just drag this around. I'm going to drag this up to warm up the footage a little bit. And when you see over at the vector scope here, the RGB parade, we have equal amounts of red, green, and blue. So you can tweak this on your footage to make it look good. You can have a more warmer image, or you can decide to have a more cooler image. You can also work with the tint, but I don't think we need to do this on this footage. But you can try this and see how this affects your footage. If you mess something up and you want to reset the slider, you can just double click on the slider to take it back to zero. So that is really, really easy to remember. The other scope we're going to look at is this Luma waveform. Now basically 100 means the brightest part of your image. So if you see here, we got a waterfall in the middle of the footage. So this represents the waterfall. And if I scrub from under the bridge here and uh, scrub further, you will see that the, the Luma waveform reacts to the footage so that is basically how you read the brightness or the highlights of your footage and of course on the bottom you will see zero and that is the black levels of the video so we can go ahead and uh, start with some basic color correction in here and i'm going to drag the exposure up and down and you can try this yourself if you drag it too far, you will crush and you will blow everything out in the highlights. And if you drag it the other way, you will make the image look so dark that you not, can't even see it. But I'm going to reset this and I'm going to go and um, adjust it up so it gets brighter. And we don't have a lot of contrast either in this uh, footage. So we need to make it more contrasty. And what I usually do is I'm just dragging the contrast slider up a little bit. And then I'm going to work with the highlights and I want to actually make this look a little bit moody. So let's drag the highlights a tiny bit down. And um, when you are doing this, you just have to practice, practice, practice. Then I'm going to work a little bit with the shadows and um, make the shadows a little bit there. And you can also play around with the whites 
and uh, make it a little bit brighter to make it pop and the black levels so we can drag it down to get more definition in the the, the mountains here but be careful with the blacks because if we take a look at the luma waveform we see that we are in fact crushing our blacks if we drag it too far so if i drag it all the way down you will lose all the information in the darker parts of your footage so be careful with the black slider really careful so i'm just going to drag it down a tiny bit and when it comes to the blacks or the highlights you really want this to just slightly touch zero to make it perfect and color corrected the next thing we're going to look at is the saturation of your footage now this was shot in a really flat profile like i said so we need to maybe introduce a little bit more saturation into the footage to make it come to life so the next uh, scope we're going to look like is the vector scope and i know this might look a little bit intimidating but basically this white blob right here, I'm not sure what I call it, but I'm calling it a blob. If we drag the saturation slider all the way down to make the footage black and white, you will see that we have no color. The, the, the white blob has been diminished into nothing and we have it in the, in the middle here of the circle. So that means that we have no color information in this footage at all. But if we slightly just drag this up, you will see that the white blob is growing. So if I drag this all the way up, you will see here that we have a lot of yellows, some greens and a little bit of teal. So it's going more on the yellow side. And you can also see that in the grass right here that we have too much yellow. Um, it doesn't look good if we have too much saturation in our footage. So I'm going to reset this and I'm going to just drag this a tiny bit up. And uh, then we need to go up to the temperature again to adjust this. Because in the RGB parade, you will see that we have very warm tones with the reds peaking here. So I'm just going to drag the warm slider down again and when you are correcting your footage you need to go back and forth between all of the controls here so dragging down the highlights a little bit maybe bump up the contrast again and just play around with everything to make this footage look even better we are going to work with curves now the RGB curves are pretty simple. We got white and that is the master. So that will affect everything in your video clip. We've got red. So if we mess around with red and drag this around, we will introduce red into the footage or take away red. So I'm just going to reset that and it works for green and blue as well. So I don't usually use that, but if you need to take out some red or green or blue, you can do that with that slider. But for this tutorial, I'm going to make a slight S curve. So I'm going to click and make a point right here. And I'm just going to drag this a little bit down. And I'm going to make a point up here in the highlights. So basically the highlights are up here. And down here, we have the blacks and the shadows. So if we drag this up a little bit and make the S curve, you'll see that we have evened out everything and it looks so much better now. So if we take and click this, you will see before and after. And you see that we have a little bit more contrast, more definition, and it, the footage looks more to life. So if I click this FX slider up in the Lumetri color panel, you will see that this is what we started with. And this is what we did 
to color correct this footage. On the screen right now, I got a video playlist with videos about color correction and LUTs that you can check out next. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. Create and inspire and I will see you in the next video.